we stayed in New York for more than a week, right? One week, uh. One week, man. The first thing we did was we went to the Brooklyn Flea. A lot of vintage stuff. And remember you bought like earrings, right? Yeah, two pairs of vintage earrings. Okay, so that justifies the price tag. It's supposed to be spring, but like actually it's pretty cold. Pretty cold. I mean, when the sun is out, it's still okay. But when it's cloudy, it gets quite cold. What was it like going into New York? Because you've never been, right? But I've already been there like twice already. I think there's like this hype before I went to New York. You know, you follow Casey Neistat, so you like see how he really, really loved the city. But when I went there, it's like, it wasn't as exciting as it seems like he portrays it on his videos. People are just not very friendly. That's the sense I get. People just want to get their things done. Because when I went to New York when I was younger, and then you always had this image of America in your head as like this like awesome place. I mean the sense of like claustrophobia or like hurriedness and all this kind of thing. That's true for most cities all around the world. Right? People can say that about Singapore also. It's different like, because the character of New York didn't appeal to me. Like. Mm. I think every city still has it, their own kind of like character mm. and personality. And New York's personality can define it as it's just like everybody is working really hard to survive or to chase that dream. You are not really welcome if you are in their way. But anyway, the Met was good, right? Interesting. Like, yeah. really, it's, it's such a huge museum. We didn't have time to properly see everything. Yeah, in just a day. It was very tiring anyway to walk around. It's a huge place. But it's a nice vibe. Right? Spacious. Mm. They, they space out the each area that's like a kind of like a theme. And then we went to California. It was a six hour flight, we rented a car, and then we drove around. I think the driving in US was so stressful. Like, on the other side as compared to Singapore. And I don't drive that often in Singapore. I like California so much better as compared to New York. California is a lot more chill. And the weather is much better. <laughs> yeah, the weather is so much better. It's a bit, a bit warmer. I think people generally feel nicer, so mm. people feel more relaxed. They're not just out there hustling. Then we got to go to Torrey Pines. I feel like when we travel, we need to like experience nature-related stuff that you definitely can't get in Singapore. I guess New York would have been different if we allocated a day just to get out to mm. see a bit more nature and stuff. And then we drove up to 29 pounds that's near the Joshua Tree National Park yeah National Park 29 pounds is like in the desert so once again it's a very different vibe from what we've experienced so far climbing up there is like a substitute for flying a drone <laughs> because you can't fly drones in this kind of state reserve so the climb itself was it wasn't that bad. It was a good break from all the city. Lah. And the next day, we actually head towards Irvine, which is towards LA. So we flew to California because I wanted to visit my friend who is working at Blizzard HQ. Shout out to Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Woo. You get a very simple tour around their place. What do you think about LA? Um, compared to the first time round when I went to LA, it's much better now because we have a car. The only difference between New York and LA is that LA is more spread out. Yeah, you, you don't get that sense that you're like being trapped in the building. So we went to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah, I guess you kind of got to see the Hollywood sign. Yeah, good enough. Oh, we went to U Universal Studios. The conclusion is that you don't need to go to Universal Studios in America. It's about the same as Singapore. 
LA was so so la. I don't think LA was like that great. So, uh, how do you want to end this conversation? USA! Freedom! Democracy! Eagle noise! Uh-oh. Eagle man! <laughs> so weak as fuck! Hey, <laughs> the boy speaking. Uh-oh. What the fuck? What kind of eagle is this? Uh? <laughs> yeah, the weak ass eagle, okay? Cacao! <laughs> that's even go cacao. No, I think that's a crow! <laughs>